All right, guys, I uh, have another product here I wanted to show you to add to your fire kit. Um, this is something to just make it a little easier to get your initial fire going in marginal situations, such as uh, rain, snow, things like that. Or honestly, just not wanting to put in the time to process tinder down or kindling and get all that going. This is a product I think that you could ignite, um, throw in your pit, and you could go with uh, larger fuel sources, um, kind of like this. I really think it can get that type stuff going, um, and you almost skip a couple um, steps of the fire process um, because you're not going to be using a spark. Um, but it is something for it to work, you need an open flame. So maybe a match or a lighter. Um, you have to have the open flame to start the process. So if you'll take a look, it is a Zip. Um, the, the brand of the product is Zip, and I guess it'd be like a, a fuel block. I'm not sure exactly, exactly the name of it. But on the instructions that it actually says, uh, right here across the outside of it, it says light the wrapper and uh, kind of let it do its thing. So I'm gonna demonstrate that to you and uh, also to let you know too, it has a uh, 18 minute uh, burn time. So there's where you're kind of really um, um, gonna be able to get that larger fuel going because this block will burn for uh, 18 minutes. So uh, if you take a look, I'm gonna show you to use the open flame I already got going over here. Get that, get that paper. it's already ignited that block that is inside the wrapper. So I'm sure you can kind of see that heavy black smoke. So this, uh, this smoke has a strong chemical type smell, kind of like a firework. So it's not something that I would say necessarily would be, uh, you're definitely not gonna wanna cook food right on that open flame. That would not be wise. Um, if you're gonna boil water, I don't think that would hurt. Um, I don't think it really transfers over into the flavor of the water, um, but it does have a little bit of a strong chemical smell. Also, if you see, it's kind of now it's worked all the way through that wrapper and the whole block is on fire. So really, if you wanted to, it wouldn't take a whole lot to build up with larger stuff right on top of that and it, it be a sufficient enough flame to really get that stuff going. Um, like I said, kind of cuts out some of the different pieces that you would need for fire making when it comes to the triangle of fire. Um, so, um, what do you guys think? You think that'd be a, a viable option there to throw in your kit? I mean, it obviously works, but you have to have a lighter or a match to really get this thing initially started. So I think, it, I think it'd be fine to, to add there in your kit, but also understand that you have to have that open flame to get it ignited. Um, I'm sure there would probably be a way to process that block down to a finer amount and get it hit with your ferro rod. Uh, but I think it's a decent option for just a quick fire. Um, I would all, just, just uh, as a reminder, uh, don't cook on this flame. I, I definitely would not because of that, that black smoke, that chemical smell that's coming off of it but it would definitely be a good option for uh, getting your initial fire going when you're in a marginal condition such as uh, harsh weather um, and you're really needing that fire. So I'd say these are well worth uh, throwing into a, a survival kit or a fire kit for just an emergency backup plan. And, uh, and remember, that block itself gives you 18 minute burn time uh, estimated. So uh, I, I think it's a good survival option. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Remember this is a uh, zip. Uh, like a fire block. I believe they have them at Walmart. Um, so check them out, see if they work for you. Thanks for watching. God bless.